Hi, my name is Brad Stein, and I am in the bowels of the Summit Center in Nashville, Tennessee. There are 9,000 people out there that I'm about to perform for. But if you give me just a second, I wanted to tell you just a few of the things that have happened for me in my career in the last couple of years. I think you might find it kind of interesting. Hey, you go to big Olympic track meet. On your mark, get set, go! Mom used to spit in a Kleenex and wipe my face! Do not get in the x-ray line, get bored, and get on the conveyor belt. Do not do that! Enough of this legalism, it's killing us. I say you gotta yawn, yawn, you gotta sneeze, sneeze. You gotta fart, let her fly. I don't care anymore. I live here in Nashville, Tennessee. I have uh, made a career uh, as a comic for the last 19 years. I can't take that. He said fart. We don't say fart, we say toot. Oh, and it makes it smell a whole lot better too, doesn't it? But one of the things that has made me interesting to people is I don't use curse words, I don't do sexual reference jokes. I speak of my traditional American values, more conservative values than you normally ever see from a comic. By the way, if I offend you and you're a witch, I don't know, isn't there a potion for that? As you have well guessed, I am a more conservative comic, which is very rare in this day and age. And it's what I've really been able to cash in on and show that there's a market here that hasn't been utilized and exploited, and I'm trying to do that. I've written two books. One was called Live from Middle America, Rants from a Red State Comedian. That was by Hudson Street Press. And my first book called Being a Christian Without Being an Idiot. Just did a movie with Brian Dennehy and Crystal Bernard called uh, Welcome to Paradise. You got a second? Sure. Listen, I, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but this, this here, ain't gonna work. Two grand. I just want to see what you were made of, John. Go on, shake it. I won't snatch it away. You're a good man. Uh, this is what I'm about. Uh, this is what I'm trying to show. I've been doing this 20 years. I am a trained actor. And uh, I've really tried to make, uh, make an effort to show that there's a lot more Americans who would love to, to have access to this type of uh, product. There's been incredible amounts of mainstream media that has uh, covered me in the last few years, uh, much more than I deserve, trust me. Uh, I had a 10-page profile written about me in the New Yorker magazine. I was profiled in New York Times. Uh, I was interviewed by Terry Gross on NPR on her Fresh Air show. Uh, I have been interviewed uh, on Glenn Beck, on uh, his radio and on his TV show. I appeared on Hannity and Combs. I went to a place where I knew there's going to be all these conservatives, there's going to be all these people who've never had a comic before that, right. that does comedy like this. But and I said, I'm going to go work for those guys. And suddenly Hollywood came knocking on my door. I have appeared uh, on CNN with Paul Azan. I've appeared on, with Tucker Carlson in a couple of his TV shows. I started in mainstream. I headlined the improvs. I was on MTV, half hour comedy comedy show. I did it for years. I've worked where there are six year olds in the front to 68 and 70 and 8 and 98 year olds in the back. I mean, you know, the demographic that I've reached because of the type of stuff I talk about, it virtually is unheard of in the comedy community. And so uh, I've really tried to tap into that. We have gotten too politically correct in this country, and political correctness is a cancer. I can't stand it. My job, my life, if I have any legacy, I want to watch political correctness die in my lifetime. <laughs> but first, I want to watch it suffer. Two minutes, Mr. Stein. Do you mind? <laughs> I mean, you'd think they'd get a professional to do that. Anyways, folks, I gotta go to work. I'll talk to you in just a minute. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me. I hope you learned a few things you didn't know before. Love to stay in chat, but I gotta go to work. From See Nashville, you. Tennessee, with a distinctive brand of comedy, here's the one and only.